Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing a very belated January everyday makeup basket. This video was so delayed and belated because I literally just moved on January 1st, so it took me this long to move, unpack everything, get my new vanity set up, unpack all my makeup, and get it organized. Um, so a lot of this stuff are either carryovers from my December makeup basket, or they're new products that have like just recently come into my collection. As we go through the makeup collection, this isn't like 100% like finalized. Like I do want to like eventually get another set of Alex drawers and kind of condense some of this. But for now, this is just kind of the way that I have it set up. So let's go through the basket first before we jump into the shop my stash portion. We really have a minimal amount of products up here on the top. I think the only things I'm going to move is uh, these liquid liners. I'm going to move those into my uh, liquid shadow drawer back into my collection. I'm just using this Milani Make It Last setting spray. I want to finish that up. I've got a uh, Control Freaks brow gel that I like. I've been using my Essence Lash Princess that I love. Chapstick. Um, oh, this Melt lipstick. Someone left a comment asking about it and it reminded me that I love it. So I brought that back out to use. I think I'm gonna move Rebel Rose back into my collection. because I wanna pick out a couple other lipsticks and then I have my um, glitter glue. So let's move to the first drawer. All right, in drawer number one, we've got a very minimal setup. I've got my Airspun Loose powder that I'm gonna keep. I've got my Super Stay powder that is just about panned. I might repress this, but I, so I'm out of alcohol that I use the isopropyl alcohol to repress makeup. And because of, you know, pandemic, it's sold out like everywhere. So I can't find alcohol to repress these. So I gotta wait until I can actually get the alcohol to repress that. Um, I've got the Makeup Revolution, the Putty Primer. I wanna keep that in here. Uh, the Pixie Beauty Balm. I actually just finished filming my um, full Pixie review, so that should be up in like a week or so. Um, but I really like this Beauty Balm, and I cut it open to finish it up. But I kind of, now that I have access to all my foundations, I want to pull out some other foundations. So I'm going to put this back into my collection for now. I'm going to keep the Dermacol out, and I really like the Shot Miss A concealer, but I want to pick up another concealer. So let's move those back in. So this is what we are left with. All right, next door, we've got a few new arrivals here. Um, I've got my Pan That Palette, the Lila Palette. Um, I've been using this palette a lot. It's my custom face palette. I kind of want to pull out something different just to shake things up because I, I got a little, not bored, but I just want to do something different. So I'm going to move this back into my collection. I'm going to keep this color tattoo. I'm actually pa almost panned it. I think I see a little bit of pan on the bottom. Yeah, see, tiny. Uh, so I might have to pick up another one soon because I really like this for my brows. Um, so I'm gonna keep that. This Becca highlighter, I'm gonna move back. This uh, Gourmand Girls palette, I'm wearing it today. I'm actually really impressed with it. This was one of the palettes that my friend Brie sent me. I did a little haul where she sent me a very, very nice package. If you missed it, I'll throw it up in the cards. But this palette is just really pretty and I really like the green shades. So I have brought that in. And then I also brought in this Neon Drip palette. This was in my last Try Beauty box. And I've only tried out the one light green shade so far, so I really want to play with this a little bit more, get a, a feel for it. Okay, and this is everything that we're left with in drawer number two. Drawer number three. These are basically all new releases except for the Charlotte Tilbury quads, which I want to film finally my follow-up video. So I'm going to put those on top so I can film that fairly soon. Um, all of these palettes are from that uh, package that Bougie Brie sent me, so make sure you check out that video if you want to see them, but I really wanted to just play with a few things. First, this Buxom palette, very pretty, very neutral. The Stila Eyeshadow Duo, how gorgeous. Um, these are some individual Tarte uh, blushes and a highlighter. And then this is the Sephora Pro Cool Palette that I'm really, really excited. Let me not break it. That I'm, look how pretty this is. I cannot wait to like dig in and really try that palette out. So those are all going to stay. And because of all those new palettes that I got, I think I'm good for eyeshadow palettes. So I'm not going to pick any um, pa eyeshadow palettes from my collection for this month. And then down here, we've got my electronics and my... Butter box. So I'm going to move this back into my face palette drawer and we'll pick something new. All right, so let me go ahead and put all this makeup back and then we'll scoot over to shop my stash. 
Okay, so here we are in my makeup collection. These are my acrylic drawers on top of my set of Alex drawers. Um, it's a little kind of still messy, not super organized yet. Um, up here I've got my tape for swatches and some hair things. These are lip liners. I've got my liquid shadows. Right up here, lashes. Um, these are nail files and face razors. These are eyeliners. So here I want to go through and pick out a couple of things. Okay, so I picked out these three liners. This first one is a brown liner I got in my last Try Beauty box I want to bring out and test. And I realized I really miss, like, doing a wing. I want to do some wings. So I brought out these two black liquid liners, or felt tip liners. One's the Stila, and then one's the NYX Epic Ink Liner. Okay, this drawer has a couple of single shadows because they started overflowing from this drawer. I got lip glosses down here. This drawer is also empty. These are my black lipsticks. These are my red lipsticks. And actually, I want to pull out the red lipstick I also got in my Try Beauty box because I unboxed it like right before I moved, so I kind of just had to throw everything back into my collection. So I want to pull out uh, this red lipstick to test. These are all my green lipsticks. These are all my nudie lipsticks. And then these are just kind of everything else. <laughs> hmm, I kind of want to pull out like a darker lipstick. Hmm, I don't know, what, what kind of lipstick do I want? Should I do a nude? Let's do the sugar pill. Okay, and then this drawer here is empty. I want to fill it with some more nail polish because down here I've got um, some of my current like like go-to nail polishes like top coat, base coat, all that stuff. So let's switch gears and head into the Alex drawers. Okay, so this first drawer has my setting sprays, my primers, and my concealer. So I've got a primer in there. You got concealer. Let me pull out a concealer. I'm going to pull out this color corrector from Shop Miss A, and for concealer, I want to use this Instant Age Rewind. I actually don't know about the shade. It looks a little dark for me now, but I really like this formula, and I want to pull it out. I also have a backup of it, so I kind of want to use it so I can just open up the backup and not have too many concealers. Okay, so there we go, and I think... Um, so I'm like halfway through my Make It Last setting spray. I don't know if I would finish it, but I kind of want to just go ahead and bring in the Charlotte Tilbury one that I bought like on a total whim a while ago, just to test it out. Ooh, that packaging is pretty. Ooh, okay. So I'm going to pull that out and then we'll move this Milani down here. There we go. Okay, so this drawer has face powders, foundations, and that's it. <laughs> So let's see, what foundation do I want to use? You know, I want to pull out this BB cream from Wet n Wild. Let's do that. And, hmm, let's do the collab, the Bright Spark collab foundation. So we'll do those two. And, you know, this is a little sample that I found when I was moving. It's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I'll just use the, those samples. Um, I, I'm good on face powder. Uh, these are bronzers and contours, so I think I'm okay there. Let's make it a little bit neater. There we go. Okay, so these are blushes and highlighters. So what do I want to bring in? I kind of want to do a full face palette, but I don't know if I'm going to have blush. Let's do a loose blush. Let me do this really nice, where's the mauve shade? Is that the mauve shade? Yeah. So I'm going to do this one from Crow and Pebble because I just, I love the tone of that shade. And do I want to do a cream? Well, let's do this one, the Down Boy blush because I haven't used this yet. So this is from the balm. I got this in my last Try Beauty box. And I have not tried it yet, so let's bring that boy in. For highlighters, hmm. let's bring in this MAC one. This is the uh, MAC Extra Dimension, Dimension, Extra Dimension Skin Finish and Whisper of Guilt. Okay, and down here for the face palettes, I really want to pick a face palette. Let's see, which one should I pick? You know what, I'm gonna pick this Tarte one because I also have some Tarte blushes in there that I'm gonna try and use and I miss this palette. I really like this palette. This is the Tarte Clay Play Original Palette. I'm gonna use this one. 
Okay, so that's it. We're gonna skip eyeshadows because we already had a bunch of eyeshadows in the everyday makeup basket. So let me go ahead and put all this makeup away and then we'll be back for the final basket. Okay, so here is our basket. We've got the other setting sprays up here. We've got our eyeliners, our lipsticks up here on the top along with the Charlotte Tilbury quads that I wanna film with again soon. In drawer number one, we have our foundations, and then the powders and primers have pretty much stayed the same. Down here, we have our Pan Lab palette, the Tarte Face palette, the MAC highlighter, the Balm blush, the Crow and Pebble blush, and then the eyebrow product. That's not really an eyebrow product. <laughs> Down here, we have the Tarte blushes, the Sephora Pro, this really didn't change. <laughs> and then, last but not least, we've got the Technology, of course, and then our two eyeshadow palettes. So that is everything for my January makeup basket. Um, because I put this up so late, I'm really only going to be using these for like two weeks before I try to swap everything out. Um, I, that being said, for like the new palettes and stuff, I might not swap them out in February, but we'll see once I put up the February makeup basket. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what you'll be using for this month <laughs> or what you have been using considering we're already halfway through January. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.